the recording? Yeah. All right. So what I'm trying to do today is still figure out where the coolant or not the coolant, the uh, fuel pressure issue is on my truck. Um, if you look here, this thing, the fuel pressure regulator is underneath this cap, which means taking off all of this in order to access it. Back here is a fuel pressure release valve. Um, or test valve. I took the cap off already. You can see that here. Um, and what I'm going to do is just a Schrader valve. I'm going to take the uh, Schrader off and see if fuel popped out everywhere. That was uh, recommended to me that I wait until the morning when the truck hasn't running so there's no fuel in the line or no pressure built up. So that's what we're going to do here. And it is super duper cold out, but it's a borrowed tool, so I just want to see what happens here. I'm not seeing any fuel pop out yet. So here's the piece, and uh, as you can see, no fuel spurting out. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to try and start the truck, but I'm going to go turn it on and see if we get anything to pop out. That's why the camera is running, actually, because I only have one set of eyes. Uh, it looks like something popped out. I can't say that's enough to get the engine running, but something at least popped out. So we're going to put this back in. Uh, I don't know if I should try to turn it on like that or not. So uh, we're just going to put it back on. Oh. oh, where'd the tool go? Oh, there it is. And we'll put the lid back on. And we'll give the engine some time to let that gas evaporate. I don't know if you can see it from the camera. It is late March, and I think it's the 27th. Yesterday was in the 60s. And today there's a little bit of flurries, so it's cold enough to almost snow.